everybody. This is Michelle, and I am coming to you with another amazing paper collection from craftingonabudgetstore.com. This is the other Christmas um, collection that I said I would be using as far as the projects I will be doing for Crafting on a Budget, which will be tutorials, which will be on Crafting on a Budget YouTube. So make sure to get out there to subscribe and hit that bell so that you don't ever miss a project. Um, I don't think that <laughs> anybody would be surprised that I am going to be using Stamperia um, as well. I love Stamperia paper and I'm loving them even more for two reasons. They're finally starting to, I think, understand what we as paper crafters, as, as crafters in general, want and need, and that is more. We need more. We need more papers. We need more sizes. We need ephemera. We need different things. And Stamperia has really stepped up to the plate and given us that. So that I love. Um, this is called the Romantic Collection. This is your very traditional Christmas collection. It's not pink. It's not, um, you know, shabby chic. This is an old fashioned traditional Christmas collection and May has all of these pieces on craftingonabudgetstore.com so make sure you get out and get it. I'm going to give you a flip through of this to the best way I can. Um, first we have hope, joy, happiness and this little girl hanging her stockings on a laundry line. Um, beautiful, beautiful coloring you have some teals in here and gold and the reds and it really really pops it's beautiful on the opposite side i really should have taken these apart um let me see hold on one second i hate to take them i'm not going to take them apart. i'm just going to try to flip them around um on this side you have all different kinds of tags and you always need tags. <laughs> so even if you use these for your presents and didn't even use them in your scrapbook or your journal or your mini book or whatever we decide to do with this collection, you're always going to need tags. Um, here we have, let me see if I can move my camera a little bit maybe. I'll have to just move this. Here we have this beautiful muted stocking done in gold again with this incredible incredible um background this background is amazing because it just looks like it's been stenciled and stenciled and re-stenciled and stenciled again until they got exactly what they wanted um i know it's called digital layering that they do but it's just so beautiful, really beautiful, very classic. These birds are beautiful. They remind me of David's mother. Um, she loved her bird. She was a bird, avid bird, bird watcher. Um, for those of you who don't know, she did pass in 2019. Um, so she's no longer with us. And um I know that she would love this, so I may make something that I can include all of her Christmas pictures in. Look at this wooden tree we got going on here. Beautiful. You can, I can't even get it all in frame. It's just so beautiful. The holly, the berries, the evergreen. It, it's like they did like a whitewash over the 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 tree the bark of the tree it's beautiful i love this it says sweet moment and it has a clock and i love anything with clocks a cuckoo clock especially and that's exactly what this is is a cuckoo clock um and it is so special it's got ornaments hanging it's just beautiful the next, the back page of that is all ornaments. Look at those ornaments. They are just so beautiful. Beautiful to cut out individually and use on, on gifts. Um, and even more beautiful to use as a background page for something. Here we have your very 
famous vintage Santa Claus. I believe this Santa was used on the very first Night Before Christmas publication. If I'm not, if not the first ones thereafter, this is the one that they used. Um, and then it has Merry Christmas on this postcard and it says Christmas will always be as long as we stand heart to heart and hand in hand and I think that is so beautiful you have stamped out little reindeers here you have words some text going on you don't really know what the text says but again it might be written in a different uh, language then we have back here some pine cones and ferns beautiful beautiful page love it with some little pops of midnight blue on either on either corner that's different here we have like a collage of cards and santa claus post and i am just dying over the typewriter you know what i'm gonna say it's too stinking cute for words and i love it and i love that it says ho 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 and i can just see santa typing on that typewriter <laughs> It also says Santa Claus will come out tonight and deliver presents near the time of midnight. You can hear him and what you will hear are the words, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I think that is adorable. Your next page is like a flower page. Um, Christmas flowers, not necessarily poinsettias, but it's all done in gold tones. There's some geometric shapes behind it, which give it a real pop. I love it as a background piece. And then here we have these amazing um, little uh, notes for Santa. And there, some of the Santas are done in different languages. Like you have Baba Natalia, Papa Noel, Pi... Hey, Natal. I don't know how to say all of them, um, but I love that. There's Here's Père Noël, um, which means Merry Christmas, I believe. Um, so I love that you have different um, languages. I think that is so cool. You have your traditional um, Santa and his reindeer, you know, going across the sky again, probably close to from the original night. Um, Night Before Christmas book looks very similar. Here we have some interesting, uh, looks like floor de lis that have had that are real ornate. They're really, really pretty. They have this like muted teal. The teal has a, a lot of darkness to it. So when I say teal, I don't want you to think teal like in our shabby chic teal because that's not what it is. It's really cool. And then you have some more postcards. You have this little boy with a big snowball. You have, again, this little girl. We have some tickets. We have some little tiny pieces here. Some more tags for you to use. Here again, we have those snowflakes, the reindeer. Just love it. Beautiful background page. Um, again, we have more cut aparts in that typewriter that I'm just dying over. What I love about this typewriter though is this piece as a cutout actually says dear and you can put a name here. So I love that. And you know that that will say bell. <laughs> so you guys know me. Um, you also have uh, the back of those postcards. I don't know if they match yeah, they do match. They're identical to the back of the pages. So if you cut out the page on the front, this is what you would get on the back. So that's really cool. This is too stinking cute for words. This is an advent calendar. And you know we'll make this as an advent calendar. I think this is so, oh my gosh, so adorable. So, so adorable. We have to make that. Uh, guys, there's so many projects we have to make. It's it's just crazy. And here's, of course, the back of it. Um, when I make it, it will probably be, be glued to something. Um, it will probably be glued to something. So you won't see the back of it. You'll just see these little inserts. Because these are all the little inserts that go in all of these little doors. 
um, leading up to Christmas. And I have always, always loved a advent calendar ever since I was a little girl. I used to get the ones that had um, chocolate in them. Um, we also used to get the ones that had lots of um, glitter on them. And then you'd open up the little doors and you couldn't wait to see what little scene there was in there. This is a little town, which is so adorable. You have the bookshop and the bakery and the old clock shop and chocolate and brownies and flower bouquets, the hat shop, toy shop, of course, and the sweets and candy shop. You can't miss that. So you can make yourself a little town if you wanted to. And then this final page is a bunch of petal parts that go with the collection. Oh, let me just show you this reverse page. I'm so sorry. Here you have your traditional fleur de -lis. Um, You have some stonework here on the side, um, brickwork, um, kind of in all the corners. Very unique, very, very pretty. But what I love about what Stamperia is doing now is they're giving us collections. So they're giving us other sizes which they never did before so this is an eight by eight it's a complete duplicate let me just see if they have the uh yeah they they actually have the mini advent calendar in here which would be cute to add to a book because it's so much smaller we might have to do that to add to a Christmas book. So we may do a project with the big advent calendar and then do one with the small one inside whatever it is we're going to make. Um, I do have some projects that I'm already thinking of that I've lined up for this collection. And last but not least, let me just grab these. Um, they have ephemera. <laughs> so they're really listening to us. They really are. They're, they're saying, okay, we get it. They need more. They need more than just 10 pages. Um, if you plan on doing something very elaborate with this collection, might I suggest to you beautiful tags. Might I suggest to you that you buy two of the, oh, that's just, they're so thick. I thought there was two there, but it's one. It's just paper. It's just so thick and yummy. I love it. Um, here you go. These were the inserts to the calendar. So there you have them in little. Look at we have a little card all ready for us. Another Christmas card all ready for us. And these are great elements to add into your book, into your pockets, into your belly bands. This would be an awesome belly band or a bookmark. Um, here's that beautiful um, clock. So those are the pieces that I got, but might I make a suggestion to you that if you plan on doing a big book, that you get two of the 12 by 12s, um, because you're going to run out of paper. I, I've done big books before with Stamperia, um, including a big Christmas book um, with their pink Christmas collection, and I did need two 12 by 12 pads. So if you're making something like that, you might want to consider getting two of the 12 by 12s. Although now, now that we have this eight by eight, it really does give us a lot of supplemental stuff. So, I, you know, I don't know. We'll have to try it out. I know that we'll be making quite a bit of projects with this one as well. You know me, I'm never at a loss for ideas and I love Christmas. So please remember to go to craftingonabudgetstore.com. This is the romantic collection um, Christmas quote from Stamperia. I believe Stamperia comes from Italy, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, actually, no, I'm wrong. It comes from Budapest. So uh, that's interesting because the name would sound Italian to me. Um, but in either event... These are gorgeous page paper. The, the images are just brilliant. They're beautifully done. I've liked Stamperia since I first found out about them. 
but go on over to craftingonabudgetstore.com and check this out. Check out all of the stuff that she has because she is now a storefront as well as an online retailer. And so she has collections of paper that I've never even heard of before. And in the future, I hope to be working with them. But I really wanted to do some Christmas um, ideas with you guys. And of course, I had to do the Halloween so I hope that this shows you the pictures really well of what you're getting in the paper. And I hope that you craft along with me. Make sure to like and subscribe and uh, ring the little bell so that you're notified every time a tutorial comes up. They will start coming up probably um, within a week because I want to get all of my Halloween um projects out there for you so that you can duplicate them. So hop on over to craftingonabudgetstore.com uh, for all of your scrapbooking needs. And until then, you know what I will say. Goodbye. Take care. Stay well. Um, and until the next time, God bless you all. Bye for now.